In this Pioneer DJ CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 tutorial, the play, the pause and the cue. Really easy, right? Uh, maybe, but there is more to it than most DJs think. For example, do you know why the rings around your play, pause and cue button are flashing? This video is a preview of my CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 course. The link to the course is in the description below. Cueing can mean two things. The preview you can listen to with your headphones on your mixer, but I'll focus on the cue button above the play and the pause button. How can you use the cue? Well, you can use the cue to ready your track to start in a song. So you cue a song. To do that, I can go, for example, over here. I want to start in here. Well, it sounds about right. Then I can set a cue point by using the cue button in the pause mode. So the pause mode is when I'm having the, the pressure on the jog wheel or the track is paused. When I now press the cue button, then it will set a cue point. You'll see over here in the display, it has a little triangle and the bottom of the track. That is my cue point. When I now press the cue button, then you will see that marking will change to over here. Now I can release the platter because now the cue point is set. The quantize function has influence on this cue function. When I want to set my cue point here, for example, um, it will round up to the next beat. So now it will round up to the first beat of a bar and in, uh, when I'm over here, it will round up to the fourth beat of a bar. I said pause mode. So when I play a track and I pause a track and I'm pressing the Q button, then you can set a Q also over here. When I set the quantize off, then you will see I can set a Q point wherever I like in the track. This you can use, for example, to start at a sound sample that isn't exactly on the beat of the song. You can also use the quantize function to quickly preview a song without worrying that you have to rewind the track. So when I set a cue point over here with the quantize function on, then when I press the cue button, then it starts playing the song. When I release the cue button, then you will see it will automatically rewind the song at the point that I set the cue point. You see? So I release the button and it stops playing and rewinds the track to the point that I set a cue point. What's the difference with the play and the pause button? Well, when I press the play button, it starts playing. And when I press the play button again, it stops right at the point that the track is right now. You can also use the cue function to get in the rhythm of a song. For example, when you're beat matching your track, then I want to start over here, for example. And I have a track already playing. I can in my headphones hear if I'm in the beat of a track. When they are in the same BPM, I'm starting in a track right now on my other player. And I want to get in the rhythm of that track. So I can tap that on my player, but I can also tap that on the Q button. Do that in your headphones, by the way, and not when the people are rocking on the dance floor. And I'm when, when I'm happy, I can hold the Q button. Okay, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that position in the track. I can release it, but that means that it will rewind. I don't want that. Now I want to that the track keeps playing. I can do that by pressing the pause button. Well, the play button in this case. Now I can release the cue button and the track keeps continue playing. A lot of DJs don't know what the rings around the cue and the pause button mean. You can see if a track is playing or not. In this case, the track is playing. You see it's running over here, it's over here. Um, and when I open the slider, you'll see it has a visual clue over here. But when I press the pause button, you will see 
it starts to flicker. This means that the track is now paused. So play and it stays lit, pause and starts to flicker. But also the cue button starts to flicker. That means that there isn't a cue point present at that point that you're in right now. By accident, I touched the cue point and as we discussed earlier, in the pause mode, when you click the cue, then it sets a cue point. So now there's a cue point over here in this song. So when you are on the cue point, this ring is lit up and it doesn't flash. So again, I'm pressing the play button. Both rings are not flashing. When I press the play button, the cue button flashes because there is no cue point at that point. So when I want to set a cue point here and I click the cue, then it stays lit. More CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 tutorials in the playlist here in the screen. Also a link to my CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 step-by-step -step course. Also here in the screen, links to both are also in the description below.